Hello everybody. In today's video, we'll be teaching you about a concept called mind squares. And essentially what mind squares are, are there squares where you would want to go to in order to have the ability to capture the opponent's pawn. So in this case, the mind squares are c4 and b6 respectively. So essentially, what white wants to do is white wants to get black to touch their mind square first. Essentially, in this case, there's actually two sets of mind squares here where black's mind squares are b6 and d6, and white's mind squares are c4 and a4. So essentially, as white, since it's white to move, you don't ever want to touch this square before black touches one of these squares. So essentially, you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, essentially always maintaining contact with one of the mind squares, but never actually touching it. So essentially, they'll go back and forth, they'll repeat, they'll repeat, and they'll repeat moves until they have a draw. There's also another way for white to try and make progress when if if black comes this way if black comes this way white can actually come up to c4 and after king d6 they can push the b pawn so when they push the b pawn the black king has to come over to try to stop it they push it again black takes white takes and this is still a forced draw because black is always able to maintain opposition essentially there's no way for you to prevent black from maintaining opposition if you come back, they come back. If you come back, they come back. If you push the pawn, they just step in front, and you have no way to keep the opposition. If you come up, they come up, and they'll capture your pawn. If you come back, they'll come up, and you have no way to progress. Because here, here, they always maintain opposition. If you come here, they just come back. So if you ever go here or here, they just maintain opposition. If you come up, they come up, and now it's a stalemate. It's easy to draw. Black has no moves. It's a draw. So that's essentially the idea. The idea with that position is that white always maintains touching their mind square, but never steps to it. And black always maintains their mind square, never stepping to it. So essentially the easiest way for black to draw here, they would just stay within the realm of this mind square here. And if white ever steps forward to a mind square, black steps to a mind square and wins the pawn. So you can never touch the mind squares. And now we'll show you another position where it's a similar idea. However, there's this uh, mutual zugzwang where black is in some trouble. So essentially here, what we're looking at now is now the pawns are vertical and essentially they're in a favorable position for white because white's able to create this outflanking maneuver where essentially your goal is to create an opposition where black has no legal moves. Well, no no moves that are good enough to defend their pawn. So essentially putting them in zigzag. And what we do here is we play king f6, right? Creating this distant opposition where there's three squares between them, right? So essentially black has to move, right? We've already learned you can't step on a mind square. So if they step on a mind square, you simply step on yours after and you will win the pawn. There's nothing for them to do. If they come back, you just take, and now you're going to promote. So essentially, that doesn't work for black. So what's black going to try? Black's going to try the most natural move to go back to king c7. However, in this scenario, it actually still works out in your favor because you come up and you create this opposition. And now, since your pawn is covering these light squares, there's no square where black can go to that defends the pawn. You simply win the pawn. And there's no way for black to hold on. Nothing they can do. You make your queen and you will mate them eventually. So that's it for mind squares. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching the video.